This is what it's gonna be like in real life. The power is out, you can't see anything. You break out your flashlight and you've gotta connect your generator to your house. Could be a hurricane, could be a terrible storm. So I'm gonna show you what an interlock kit is and why it's something you probably wanna have if you've got a large portable generator. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it works in a real life situation. An interlock kit is nothing more than a safety device and it's what you're looking at right here, that little silver plate. That's all an interlock kit is and what it does is it prevents you from running your generator and being connected to street power at the same time. So all that means is that when you're in your generator, the goal of an interlock kit is to make sure that the power from your generator doesn't back feed into the utility lines. So it's just a simple device that is code approved that prevents the power from going beyond your house. And that's a good thing for everybody, especially for utility workers that were the most at risk when people would do illegal backfeeding. So an interlock kit, in my opinion, is the easiest way to connect a large generator to your home. You can still use generator transfer panels, and I've used some of my other videos, and I really like them, but an interlock kit is easily the best for a large generator connection. So let's see how it works and how simple it is to use. When hooking up a generator, I always start from the outside in. So the first thing we're going to do is set the generator up outside and get it ready. Let's get the generator ready to start it. So if you have an auto throttle on your generator, you want to make sure that the auto throttle or the eco throttle is in the off position because you want the generator to start at full speed. Now with the generator in place and the eco throttle off, we can go ahead and start the generator. Most manufacturers recommend that you let your generator warm up for a few minutes before connecting it to the house. This is a good practice. Again, keep in mind you could be doing this in the dead of winter, so that warm up time is really important. Next thing I like to do is plug in the plug to the outside generator outlet. This is a Reliance outlet that I use here, but there's many brands that you can choose from. Notice that one of the prongs on this outlet cord has a key on it. This is very important to know because if you plug it in wrong, it won't go in correctly and it can be very frustrating. And again, remember, it can be raining or snowing when this happens. So you want to get used to understanding where that key is and identifying it. Now we need to connect the other end of the cord to the generator. And again, note that key because that's very important. You need to align the key to the outlet and once you press it in it needs to be turned to lock it in. These are locking type plugs. Now they're not all the same but this is by far the most common kind. So if it doesn't feel right when you put it in take it out and check the ends to make sure it's aligned properly. And you can see here I'm going to give it that twist and that'll lock it in place. So now we've got our generator running and both ends of the outside cord are connected. So now we need to move on to the inside of the house to activate the interlock. So I'm showing you exactly what you're going to see when the power is out. You're going to be using a flashlight and you're going to have to identify these items. So at the top of most panels you're going to have a main breaker. The first step you need to do is to throw that off. Once that's off you can slide your interlock plate upward as you can see here. I'm going to push that up and now the breaker just below is your interlock and I'm going to turn that breaker on. So the reason you have all this is to, for total safety so that you can't get shocked and it's completely safe when you're working on your generator. So now that the street power is back on, we want to restore our power. So we're just going to reverse the steps. So the first thing we do is we switch the interlock breaker off and that drops the little metal panel. Now we could throw our main breaker back on and the power from the street is back on and we've undone it. Now we just need to go outside and undo the outside steps. The first thing I do when restoring power is I disconnect the cord to the generator outside. I also like to double check that I leave the eco throttle in the off position in case I forget the next time. That way it'll be in the right position when I start it. And then the last thing of course is I switch the generator off. And finally I disconnect the generator cord from the outside outlet and now I'm done and I can put the generator away once it cools down safely and I can store it for the next time I need it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and then also subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thank you.